the topic is branch and bound this is one more problem solving strategy a method by which we can solve a problem this is similar to backtracking in the sense that it also uses a state space tree for solving the problem solution is represented like a state space tree but it is useful for solving optimization problem and only minimization problem not maximization problem anyway we can convert a maximization problem into minimization and we can solve it so let me show you how it works see i have taken one simple example here that is job sequencing with a deadlines problem now how the state space tree is generated for that one there are two methods of generating a tree that depends how you want the solution see suppose i say that i am doing job 1 and job 4 this is my solution then the solution can be represented as subset of that jobs this is one method of giving a solution and second method of representing a solution is first job is done second and third job is not done fourth job is done so this is variable size solution this is fixed size solution see as per this example i got subset as two jobs some time i may get a three jobs or some problem i may get just one job so this is variable size but this type of solution if you write a solution like this then it will be fixed size always will be representing zeros or ones equal to the number of jobs right there are two methods of solving this one or drawing a state space tree i will follow this method first that is subset method then that is a variable size solution so for that i can draw a state space tree and i'll say that i am considering first job then in backtracking we will consider the next level but here in branch and bound we will also consider second job and then third job and then fourth job so it is like breadth first search we don't go depth wise we don't follow depth first search we follow breadth first search for exploring the solutions of a problem so the difference between backtracking and branch and bound is backtracking was depth first search and the branch and bound is breadth first search now this one level is completed see i have considered all the jobs one by one now once i take first job then what are the solution job 2 i can take or job 3 i can take then job 4 i can take right first job is already taken then i can take second job or third job or fourth job so if i follow one of the route it says that i am doing first job and fourth job i am not taking second and third job that is the meaning now which is the next and these nodes are 6 7 8 now next which node i should expand shall i expand this one or this one so next is this one i am doing second job considering second job but what about the next one i will be doing third job or fourth job see first job already we have discarded we are not considering it we are not taking it then third job and fourth job then here only fourth job 11th node now which node i should expand next this node i should expand so third job or fourth job and if i expand this i'll have only fourth job right then this one is already fourth job here i can consider fourth job 16 then all are reaching till 4 and this is the last one 17 fourth job so this is a state space tree for the solutions if you are looking like this and if i consider any node this node says that i am considering second job and fourth job if this node says that i am considering third job and fourth job so this is one way of generating a tree so branch and bound we generate a tree like this this is one method then i'll show you second method of this one let us look at second method for the same variable size solution see first node is generated and we consider first job job one and then job 2 no one thing while generating this i'll put this nodes in the stack second node generated third node generated then i'll consider job 3 this is the fourth node fourth node in the stack then i'll consider job 4 so this is the fifth node fifth node now which node i should expand next i should expand fifth node how 
the nodes I am keeping them inside the stack. So pop out this one and expand. See already this is on the last job. There is no expansion possible further. So pop out next node and expand this one. So which job? Job four. Third is over, fourth is over, right? Fourth. So node six. Now which node I should explore next? That sixth node. So can it be explored further? No, this is the last job. Okay, pop out the next node and explore it. See, this is second job. So what are possible? Third job, right? Or fourth job. This is node seven and eight. Push both of them in the stack. Now which node I should explore? Eighth node. This is already on fourth job. It cannot be expanded further. Then seventh node. Yeah, I can expand it. Job four. This is ninth node, ninth node. Which node I should explore next? So take it out from the stack, ninth. It cannot be explored further. So take out two and explore it. So exploration, first job is done, second job or third job or fourth job. So the node numbers are 10, 11 and 12 and in the same order they are pushed into the stack. So this is another method. So what is the difference in the previous one and this one? In the previous one, we were using Q for next node exploration. And now we are using stack for next node exploration. So if you are using Q, then it is called as FIFO branch unbound. And if you are using stack, then it is called as LIFO branch unbound. So you can use any one. And you have to follow breadth first search only. What is breadth first search here? Once you pick up a node for exploration, you should explore all the possible nodes. Then only you should select the next node. That's what breadth first search is. So what next node from where you select? You select from Q also, stack also. And there is one more method. One That is least cost branch and bound. So this is LC branch and bound. There is one more method. I'll show you that one now. Now let us look at this method, least cost branch and bound method. So for this problem, I will generate a tree again, state space tree. Let us start with first node. Now this time I will explain you one more new thing. That is for every node, we will calculate the cost. So what is cost? Depending on the problem, we define a cost function and using that function, we find out the cost of each node. And this we do for all three methods, whether you are using FIFO or LIFO or LC, then only we can solve a minimization problem. Let us assume the cost of this one is infinity. Now let us consider the jobs. First job, right? And the cost of this node is, let us say, 25. Just randomly, I'm writing some number. Then second job, the cost of this is 12. And this one, third job. The cost of this one is 19 and next fourth job, node 5. Let us say cost of this is 30. Now which node I should explore next? The node with the minimum cost I should explore next. Least cost, that's what it is, least cost branch and bound. So here of least cost, this one. So I should explore this one. Now let us look back again. FIFO method, which one we select for exploration? This one will expand. LIFO, we try to expand this one. Least cost, out of this, whichever is having least cost, we'll try that one. So we'll expand this one. So job two is there. So this is job three and job four. Suppose here the cost is eight and here the cost is seven. Now which one we should explore? This one, but this is the last note, second job, fourth job. So this is the solution. So like this, instead of generating an entire tree, we always pick up the nodes with minimum cost, that is least cost, and try to explore that one so that quickly we can reach the solution. This is the idea of LC branch and bound, and this is much faster than using FIFO and LIFO. We can use any of these methods, but in each method, we write down the cost of each node and find the solution. Now in the coming videos, I'll be solving few problems using branch and bound.